Unfortunately, I forgot to upload the video um, I was telling you about in the previous video in this summary, so if you want it, um, just give me a shout and I'll forward you the link to the video. Anyway, um, basically the problem is, though, of course, is that there's um, the symptoms of the much larger problem that this article talks about. We seem to be facing, amongst our critical thinking contingent, some who are using, useless argu uh, using needless arguments to support their points. Um, one prominent example was talked about in this month's Skeptical Inquirer where somebody did a review of Richard Dawkins' work when comparing him to Darwin. The two have very similar views on religion, all well and good. However, um, when it came to scientists, apparently Richard Dawkins uh, has been using um, certain critical thinking fallacies, including, um, uh, how shall we say, uh, name slandering? Basically, he, um, he basically called one guy who's a prominent theistic scientist and rather competent one, the administrative head of the Human Genome Project, as if his um, competency were somehow hindered by his, well, by his religion. Um, I'll tell more in the next video.